What's going on summoners? Welcome back to another Pro Guides video. My name is Crumbs and today we're going to be taking a look at our monthly update. We'll be diving into all of the massive changes that have come up over the month as well as some of the content Riot has released. There's a lot of different things to cover, especially as we get closer to the end of the season. Whether it's a look at some beautiful new skins, meta changes, new champions, or whatever it may be, here at Pro Guides, we've got you covered. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned till the end so you don't miss out on any important updates now and in the future. So let's hop right in. With our monthly news updates, we've got a ton of skins to cover. We know this is your favorite part of the video, so let's take a ride and dive right in. First up, we have the new Monster Tamer skin line. This line is based in a Pokemon-esque universe and features champions like Kog'Maw as a battle monster, whereas Vagar and Lulu are their trainers. These skins feature all new animations, recalls, and visual effects. Plus, you can get multiple chromas and icons to customize them. Next up, we have the Steel Valkyrie skin line. This line takes place in the same world as Bullet Angel Kai'Sa, Gun Goddess Misfortune, and Admiral Renata Glass. Its futuristic yet space-like atmosphere allows the new additions like Janna, Camille, Lucian, and Nasus to truly stand out as they wield powerful weapons of mass destruction. Each of these skins feature all new visual effects, recalls, animations, and some nice loading screen borders thanks to the battle pass. You'll also find multiple icons and chromas to customize these skins as you see fit. On top of that, there are also a few exclusive event chromas for older skins within the same universe. Finally, don't think we forgot about Janna's prestige variant. With this new line, Janna will get her Cyber Halo skin, but she will also get a really nice looking prestige version that features a special splash art. Be sure to save up your coins so you can add it to your collection. On to our next skin line, we've got some new Zenith Games skins. Similar to the old concept of Striker Ezreal and Sweeper Ramis, this line adds a futuristic touch to soccer. Featuring Blitzcrank, Jace, and Lee Sin, you'll be able to catch these champions scoring goals and gaining LP. They each feature new animations, visual effects, and recalls, as well as your usual icon and chroma selection. Hopefully we get more skins like these so we can build entire teams. Finally, we have a few skins to cover that are pretty cool. For Halloween this year, Riot talked about releasing new Fright Night skins and even gave us the concept art for Draven, Renata, Urgot, Trundle, and Annie. These champs look extremely cool as they utilize a lot of the horror's genres, cliches, and well-known characters. While we're not sure if the concept art is the only list of champions, we can't help but be excited. To end us off with all of our new skins, we've got none other than King Viego. This skin features Viego in his human form and what he would otherwise be seen as if he hadn't fallen. It's a beautifully made skin that lets us really visualize what Viego looked like before the ruination. With this skin, Riot opened up the possibilities of adding more human forms for characters from the mist like Callista or Hecarim. While we're not sure if they're going to do it, it'd still be pretty cool. I mean, human Hecarim? That sounds ridiculous and very fun. Before we continue on to our next big update, we want to remind you all to check us out at ProGuides.com. We offer tons of guides and videos to help you take your gameplay to the next level. If courses and lessons aren't your thing though, don't worry, we have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the Pro Guides family. Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive right back into the video. Pulling us back into the video, we have quite a few things to talk about regarding Riot's new champions. Unfortunately, Riot has not released a super in-depth breakdown of their future champs, but we do have some nice teasers for you. Before we go into that though, we want to take a second to recognize how unique a lot of the champions from this season have been. We've had Zeri, who worked to constantly kite and offers a unique playstyle where her basic attacks are a skill shot. We've got Renata, who turned the concept of a fairy fantasy enchanter right on its head and buffs her own carries through dominance and concoctions. Then there's Belvet, who's a jungler that looks to focus around Rift Heralds and prioritizes a hyperscaling attack speed playstyle. Then finally, we've had Nila who made her debut as the first real melee marksman. While we wouldn't say these champions were the most balanced in this slightest, they definitely show that Riot is trying to keep things fresh and won't hesitate to add new, unique mechanics to the game. With this in mind, let's dive into a few of the great teasers that they have released over the month. First up, we've got the next champion in lane, known as Kaysante, the pride of Nazuma. Kaysante is described as a character that'll wield a huge blunt object. Said object can be used both offensively and defensively, but it can also be shattered to reveal carefully crafted blades. This top laner is meant to be a tank, and it seems like they'll have a type of form change, 
While we're not sure if it'll function more like Nars Rage Meter or a proper swap like Jace, we do know that their weapon adapts. From our assumption, this form swap will allow Kaysanta to empower their defensive or offensive stats depending on which is needed. It's likely that the blunt weapon will feature better wave clear and percentage max HP of some sort, while the sharp knives will serve more as a single target execute. Unfortunately, we don't have much else about this champion, but it was emphasized that Kaysante is extremely respected within Nazuma thanks to their ability to kill large and powerful beasts. For our next champion, we've got a new Darken Assassin. Since Darken are bound to weapons, it seems that this assassin will be wielding a cool yet creepy looking dagger. Unfortunately, we weren't given too much info about the champion beyond this, but it's still cool to finally see another Darken. It makes us wonder if its host will look more monster-like similar to Aatrox or they'll maintain a humanoid form like Varus. Finally, we've got a new support that's been revealed. This champion is going to be a male enchanter from Ixtal. While we know little about Ixtal, it was noted that where this character lives is extremely different from what we get to see with Kiana. This either means that the enchanter lives in poverty or is simply in the outskirts of the jungle with nature. This champion is in extremely early development, so there's not much more to cover than that. Now before we move on, let's not forget about our favorite pro guides tradition. Today we want to ask you all, what is one region that you wish Riot explored more? Personally, I would love to see more focus on Camabor before the Ruination, but that's my take. We want to hear from you, so regardless of what your answer may be, let us know in the comment section down below. Nonetheless, let's get back into the video. Now that we've covered all the new champions we've heard about, let's talk about a lot of the new champion updates. Some champs got entire reworks, others got VGUs, and some only got visual updates. Regardless, a ton of champions got changed, and who better to start off with than Udir, the Spirit Walker. Udir's rework has been in development for an extremely long time. Riot not only had to modernize his kit, but he was one of the first reworked champions with an ultimate skin. Through countless hours of work and different concept arts, Riot finally settled on Udir commanding the different forms with each one representing a god. This allows him to become the boar to be tankier. He can embody Volibear and attack with speed. Orn can bless him with a ram and he can become unstoppable with crowd control. Or he can embrace the Cryo Phoenix and send an ice storm after his foes like Anivia. This completely remade kit not only brought Udir back, but it showed Riot's commitment to modernizing older champions. His rework was a huge success and players have found it to be both fulfilling to his fantasy as well as enjoyable to play. All of his skins look great, and as a callback to old Udir's stances, his ultimate skin still uses them. So if you're looking to go back to Tiger, Turtle, Bear, and Phoenix stances, then you may have to pick up Spirit Guard Udir. Now that we've covered Udir's huge update, let's dive into another rework that Riot has been working on. Aurelian Soul has been trying to get a rework for years now, and Riot has finally given us more insight into their changes. At the moment, he lacks popularity, and they feel they missed the mark with Asol's entire Space Galaxy Dragon fantasy. So they're reworking his abilities to finally give him some power and personality. His new Q will be a constant Dragon Breath ability that requires you to hold it down. It can be cast forever as long as you have the mana. That being said, you're rooted during its cast. For his W, he'll now summon a black hole underneath a random enemy, just like in TFT. This black hole will implode after 2 seconds, which will deal magic damage and cause enemies in the middle to be marked as vulnerable, which increases damage taken by 20% for 10 seconds. If you've been in combat for 18 seconds, the black hole grows in size and deals 15% bonus damage. This is one of his new core abilities for teamfights as it'll allow him to deal massive amounts of AoE. Plus, he's a star-wielding dragon, and this truly captures that theme. Finally, we've got his new E, which Riot stated is a combat mobility spell. It'll allow him to fly over terrain, and he'll gain increased vision during it. As you fly, you can cast your Q, which will be great for kiting enemies. Oh yeah, and did we mention that getting hit will no longer ground you? Now that we're done with Aurelian Soul's cool-looking rework, we have a few smaller updates to focus on. First up, we've got Fizz, who got a nice update to all of his visuals. They not only made his abilities and skills look nicer, but they offer great visual clarity. This is similar to Vayne's update earlier this year. On a bit of a bigger scale, we received an update for Ari's upcoming ASU. Riot showed us how smooth her new model and abilities look, and we're excited for its release. That being said, they need more time to work on her since she has so many skins. Unfortunately, this means you'll have to wait much longer till its release. You can expect to see it in all its glory early next year. 
Before we continue on to the end of the video, if you want to join an amazing community of people like you that love lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So what are you waiting for? Join us! Nonetheless, let's get back into the video and take a look at a few preseason changes that were announced. With the end of the season in the horizon, Riot is preparing themselves for another series of massive changes. While we're not sure if they'll fundamentally change the game like the item rework did, it's still nice to get an early heads up about possible changes. One of the things Riot wanted to emphasize is how outdated their communication systems are. While they hinted at voice comms like their other games, the only thing that was completely confirmed was a vamped up version of the ping system. These new pings will feature things like wave states, wave control, and basic playstyle, so you can let your allies know what you're looking to do. On top of this, they're looking to add other comm features that can leave lingering pings on the map and even describe macro strats in detail. As for actual game changes, they are looking to reveal far more near the end of the season. For now, they have let us know that there are going to be a few jungle changes that include some familiar pets. It seems they're looking to offer pets of sorts that can follow you around the jungle to provide buffs. This is meant to incentivize giving your laners your buffs without putting yourself behind. As a smaller change, Riot is also looking to tune jungle patience so it's not as punishing if you don't have the exact range memorized. Their entire goal with a preseason jungle change is to make the entry level of jungling easier while also making its mastery far more rewarding. Finally, we've got the return of the Chemtech Drake! While this dragon will no longer give you a free Scion passive, it'll instead offer damage and damage reduction while low health. Alongside this, the Chemtech map will empower jungle plants to have additional effects, which include things like enhanced blast cone ranges or movement speed from Scryers. Overall, these changes seem cool, but we can't say how concerning they are until the end of the season. And that sums up our video for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to join our ProGuides family over at ProGuides.com where we offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you just won't catch anywhere else. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video and as always, good luck on the rift and may the LP gods smile down upon you.